as you can see, my 510 Slasher hasn't been used in a while. He's just chilling out. It's been a couple months. You know, he's starting to doze off a little bit. But today, we're bringing him back out. You guys can see from the title, we actually got 99 driving dunk on a 510 Pure Slasher. Now, real quickly, before we get too much further into the video, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support. The past few videos have done amazing. You know, you guys really seem to enjoy them, and I love doing those kind of videos as well. So, leave a like. If this video can get 1,000 likes tomorrow, 99 overall, Kobe Bryant hits the 1v1 court. You guys have been asking for that ever since I dropped the Kobe Bryant video a couple days ago. I got the gameplays. They're actually super good. So 1,000 likes, and I'll drop that tomorrow. But let's go ahead. Let's look at this 510 pure slasher, man. Look. 99 driving layup, 99 standing, 99 shot close, and he's an 89 overall. You can see we have 99 driving dunk. This build, it actually goes crazy. Leave in the comment section, man, if you want to see a slasher mixtape with the 510 pure slasher. I think it'd be pretty enjoyable. This this build right here, I actually had a grind myself. You can see I have Hall of Fame posterizer, Hall of Fame relentless. You know, it was a grind. I'm not gonna lie to you. So if you guys want to see more videos with this guy, let me know in the comment section. But that's enough talking. Let's go ahead. Let's get right into these gameplays. All right, guys. So we're back at the park on the 510 Pure Slasher. Like I said, it's been a while since I uploaded on this guy. I definitely wanted to do it because I remembered I have all these badges on Hall of Fame. And it was a grind to get them. So I'm definitely going to get some gameplay for you. You can see the Pure Slasher. I'm running with a sharp rim and a sharp defender. And real quickly, guys, I want to thank you all for all the support. Right now, we're less than 1,000 subscribers away from hitting 50,000, and that's huge. You can see that first play of the game, Ryan, right there, drawing a charge. But 50,000 subscribers, guys. That's honestly insane. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. You leave a like. If you do enjoy this kind of content, let me know in the comment section. But again, like I said, I will be dropping a lot of more videos this weekend. Also, this month is going to be crazy. I want to try to upload at least 20 times, guys. 20 times. If I don't upload 20 times, I want you guys to leave in the comment section right now. Go down to the comment section. Type a four fit that i should do if i do not upload 20 times i'm done with school so 20 times is definitely something that i should be able to do you can see me contesting that shot right there but again like i said drop it in the comment section but we're now we're gonna go right back into the gameplay you can see zero zero checking up a couple bad shots each going between the legs behind the back spinning now i haven't changed any of my animations and a lot of you guys know that i'm starting to dribble a little bit i have a build that i haven't shown yet but maybe you can tell in the top right what that build might be i haven't really been able to uh do much on him yet you can see right there i thought he's gonna cut we're not actually able to get the alley-oop but ryan bailing us twice right there the quick release to put us up four zero but if you can tell by the top right i might have a new little build for you guys and i've been practicing dribbling a little bit all right but i haven't changed any of these animations this guy actually is a ton of fun to play on i know a lot of you guys have seen it recently you've been tweeting about it on twitter and all that now there is an update to the shot contest if you're relatively close to somebody now even on my 510, you'll notice a few of these little contests that I'm getting. Even if you're close to someone, you're going to get a contest, which is a whole lot better. I think you can still get shot over, but if you're going to lightly contest, the chances of your shot going in are a lot less. So you see right here, I'm pretty much just draining my stamina. The biggest thing with this guy is you're already 510, you know, and you're a pure slasher. A lot of people are going to disrespect you. If you can shoot somewhat decently, you should be all right, but you can tell this whole entire gameplay people pretty much just sit in the paint you have to find creative ways to score because if you're just trying to go in there and dunking the ball you're gonna get blocked a lot you're gonna get a lot of layups even with 99 driving dunk you're gonna get a lot of these layup contests you see i'm already blinking red he's playing pretty much free throw line and below defense which is smart you can see i'm going back to my roost with a speed boost going lightly off his shoulder hall of fame relentless finisher helping me make that shot to put us up 13 to 4 now these guys weren't the best you can see he's cold in the corner look at that comp box out right there he gets the rebound you know my 90 something speed going the other way look at that alley-oop like this guy is so athletic it's actually funny i don't know if i showed the vertical but this guy's vertical is like in the 90s or like high 80s i believe so like the amount of like air you get on these is actually insane but look at this 2k tell me what this is go back and look at this what is that why am i going behind the goal on a fast break two on one like i don't understand whatever 15 to 6 we're having the ball we're ice i'm hitting rage right here he's gonna throw it up to me he sees it i'm like people that actually can see out of the oops and understand this man it's actually such a lot of fun to play on and this guys these guys right here were noticing me cut all that kind of stuff like that so it was definitely a w see this guy right here pretty much this gameplay i don't know what this guy was doing you can tell by his name that he probably didn't know what he was doing either chucks up another shot you know, this is the kind of gameplay that you want to get when you're actually on a 510 slasher. I know a lot of you guys have seen me tweet before and I try to get gameplay. You always get like the elite threes trying to pull up. 
And to be honest, we we beat some elite threes before on this guy. So look, this guy's super athletic. Going back again, this could be the last play of this game right here. You can see he's clamping me up from the free throw line. I'm like, hey, let me reset this real quick. I'm going to step it back, give him a quick rhythm dribble, get the blow by. This guy's trying to block my shot. Get postered, man. 15 points, 21 to 6. Not too bad of a game right here, man. So these next two game plays, you can see the guys that we're playing against. We actually ended up playing them twice. This is going to be the second game. So this is kind of like an adjustment to what they did to stop me the first game. Obviously, I'm going to spoil it. We won the first game, so they came back and played us. Notice what I'm doing and how they're trying to play me. For some reason, whenever you're on a slasher, a lot of people just like to play up on you, trying to make you dribble. But again, look, see, I'm patient right here. He's playing that paint defense. He notices that's all I'm trying to do. But luckily, I'm able to make that shot. I'm using pure LaMarcus Aldridge right here on this guy. It's pretty quick, but it ended up being pretty good for me. But look right here, man. This guy's playing in the paint. So anything, you know, like a smart IQ person would do, just go float it up. A full bar release on a slasher with 99 driving layup, and I get a brick. But luckily, we're going to be able to get the rebound. He can set out a rage in. He's knocking it down to put us up 8-4. to four. Let me know in the comment section. A lot of guys don't use slashers anymore. Do you think slashers are worse this year than they were last year? Obviously, I know I'm on a 5'10 slasher, but how am I not making that shot? You know, I can't really do too much, but look right here, bro. Quick little behind the bag with the ankle breaker, you know, throwing it down. Something simple. This guy is, is actually a ton of fun to play on. Like I said, with the new contest system, you can actually play defense. I get silver defensive stopper. You can see I'm kicking it back out to Ryan. Ryan's throwing it back to me, throwing it down, catching it with one hand, and we're throwing it down. But with this contest system, you're getting a lot of lightlies. I can pretty much be in the airspace of somebody, and they're actually going to get contested, which is actually pretty nice. But again, you can see I'm just eye swing right here. You see, like I said, you have to finesse inside the paint. If they're just going to be standing there with the hands up, and usually with hands up defense, you're not going to be able to get a contact dunk. But they're just standing up there. You can have to finesse. You can see I had an acrobatic layup on right there. I'm actually able to make that shot. You can see again, like I said, he's just sitting in the paint. I'm ISO wing. Ryan's going to wait for me. They both try to come in. They try to, you know, throw the alley-oop. It gets blocked. Ryan gets it back, and he throws it again. Like, look how high I get up in the air. It's actually crazy. So 16 to 12, you can see I try to contest that right there. He had slashing takeover. You know, I'm trying to play some defense. It's a close game because, you know, 5'10s really can't play that great of defense you can really kind of contest on shooters like i said but if you're going anywhere down low you're gonna get abused you see i think my guy went afk don't it doesn't matter the park dunks are pretty op a lot of people were saying that i should put on park dunks so i put them on the park dunks just so i could get a little bit better uh dunk animations when i don't get a contact dunk he misses a wide open shot we're off in transition now look man literally had all three of them jumping and i threw it off the backboard i thought that was a pretty sick highlight right there 16 to 20 ryan has the ball he's going towards the paint they both try to contest it i'm catching it with one hand and literally like throwing it like a baseball throwing it off the backboard and we end up winning that game now this is the first game look like i said i'm playing some defense that's a slasher but he's coming down and throwing down the put back dunk pretty nice little clip but this guy was i think both of these dudes were slashers i'm on my 5 10 i can't remember what this guy was but you see i'm kind of finessing a little bit with the rhythm dribble step in the back acrobatic layup like I said, you finesse. That's a wide open layup. If I just went in for the layup or a dunk, I probably was going to get blocked. But since I finessed, I was able to make that layup. So you can see Ryan for some reason not playing any defense, you know, per usual. I'm just kidding. Five to two. We got to back, do back our thing. You know, I'm doing my quick rhythm dribble behind the back, spin move, crossover. He's pretty much crabbed at that point. Step it back. Nice little acrobatic layup again. He tries to help. It's an open layup. I'm telling you guys, I, I know what I'm doing with this slasher. A lot of people don't remember, man. 2K18. If you've been with me since 2K18, even 2K17, you guys know Slasher was my main archetype. I know what I'm doing as I pull up in brick right there. LaMarcus Aldridge, it's a nice little layup or a nice little jump shot. But look, another contact donk. He's sitting in the paint. You know, quick pump fake. He knows I'm going to shoot the ball. I think I shot two or three threes already. And he knew I had the capability of making it. So he's jumping right there. Quick behind the back again. Step it back. My speed with the ball is actually pretty quick. Nice little crossover. Dotted to Ryan. And he's making the shot. These games are competitive like they shouldn't have been. We left a lot of people open. We didn't play the best defense. Like I don't really play threes that much with these guys. You can see a nice little behind the back right there. Not getting baited. Nice park dunk again to put us up 12 or put us down only 12 to 10. We get the stop. Raging throwing it again. I told him to alley-oop it. Well, whatever. We get a quick layup. You can see I'm very close to takeover. If I get takeover, it's pretty much over at that point because I can kind of hit like any contested layup or dunk right there. Ryan told me the alley-oop. I'm throwing it down. Nice little nice little windmill action. 15 to 14 right here. We've got takeover. He's playing on the free throw line this time, so he can try to stop me. I wanted to shoot that, but you can see he's playing hands-up defense. And like I said, 
you're not able to get like contact dunk animations this year especially when they have their hands up but you see heavily contested green the slasher takeover is honestly insane 16 to 17 we know we had to score pretty much every single time the lights come back on quick crossover probably could have had the dunk ryan hits me i'm gonna go ahead and go snatch it back throw it back out to rage and we're patient i know i have to score right here stepping it back quick uh momentum right there and we're going in right for the dunk i'll wait for it to put his hands down 18 to 17. Now, who else is doing this on a slasher, man? Like, a lot of people can't do this. They don't have the IQ. Quick behind the back or quick back door right there. Last play of the game, 20 to 19. We're doing our thing. We're being patient. Look at my, look at the little combos, man. Little combos from little slasher. Put us up. Contested acrobat layup, 20 points. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you're new, make sure you sub. But I've been dignified. I'm out. Peace.